Okay, so just measuring the clearance of the oil pump vanes to the housing. So 4,000 of an inch just seems to lift it a bit, and 3,000 is just a light sliding fit across the other side. So 3,000 of an inch just a light sliding fit. Fourth hour lifts it, three hour light, three thousand of an inch light sliding, fourth hour just lifts it a bit. So there are between two and five thousandths of an inch clearance between the top of the gear and the housing, so that's fine. So on the driven gear, on all gears, we're looking for any abnormal wear in the teeth. And as you can see, this one has got signs of wear on the outside, signs of wear on the inside, but there's no, no major lips or gashes or gouges. Also want to check out the bearing surface there. Just looks like some normal wear, normal wear and tear. And what you want to do is you want to polish it, uh, something like 1200 emery tape. And we're not taking any real material off. We're just polishing it for inspection. So that'll show up if there's any gouges or dips or corrosion marks and that one looks very very clean I can't feel anything with my nail on there okay it's the same with the driven gear we're just looking for any gouge marks any signs of excessive wear or corrosion or pitting this one looks fine Again, bearing surfaces, making sure there's no gouges or pit marks. Just a light polish, not taking any material off, just for inspection. You can see that one looks nice and flat. Other side as well, nice and flat, no gouges, no corrosion. Give a polish. Okay, then we're just inspecting inside the shaft bearing hole there. There's a few little marks on the inside there, but it's nothing serious. It's just general wear and tear. It's probably done a quarter of a million kilometers, um, over 150,000 miles, so it's generally accepted wear and tear. Also, inspecting the surfaces where the gear sits just to make sure that there's no gouges and anything that's going to rip off bits of metal and make it go through your engine because remember in these types of engine the oil pump picks up straight from the sump unfiltered pushes it through the filter and then dumps it back in the sump after it's gone through the engine so you, if you ever see any forms of uh, metal in your sump then the chances are it'll go through your engine. So just checking the wear of the shaft, you probably can't see the rocking there, but you generally don't you only want a few thousandths of an inch and this is slightly rocking which is a little bit of wear but good clearance there. So that'll be fine. Bear in mind when you're putting these together there is Two alignment marks and um, we're also expecting the face of these that looks fine make sure the alignment marks are in place so I'll be lubricating up these gears with paste as well uh, with engine assembly lube just to make sure that all the surfaces on first startup uh, have some grease on them so that they can before they get the oil up because remember the oil is only being picked up through this little tiny gap in the gears spinning at thousands of rpm so it's imperative that there's some form of lubrication in here beforehand i'll also be filling up the sucker from the sump side so that oil will come in and enter the fuel pump uh, the oil pump and i'll also be before i put the cylinder head on be injecting some oil down into the oil galleys 
so it makes it the other way through the delivery side of the oil pump just so there's some oil sitting in the system before first startup.